I've never heard of anything like this. Very fun cleanup event at Tempe Town Lake this morning. Very unusual. Yes, rollerblading. Volunteers picking up trash this morning. Danielle is live at this hour. Hey, Danielle, good morning. Hey, Celeste and Troy. Yeah, so I've actually never heard of it. It's called plogging. It comes from Sweden. So I guess people there to keep uh, their cities uh, clean there, they run and pick up garbage at the same time. So, of course, we're going to do it desert style. We have Sarah here with desert plogging. So you guys are doing it on rollerblades. Right. So picking up trash and jogging is plogging. And we figure we can cover twice the ground on rollerblades. And since the 90s are back, we're like, let's do it on rollerblades. And what do you guys do exactly? You guys have a group out here. You guys go out on particular nights, areas. How does this all work? Yeah, so Tuesday nights and some Friday mornings, we start up in Mesa. And there's this great bike path all around Tempe Town Lake. And so we take that all the way down and we do 15 okay. miles and we just pick up trash as we go it's so fun this is incredible how much garbage are you guys picking up in this area there's actually a lot because the riverbed is like a encampment for trash <laughs> and so we actually get a lot of trash it's kind of fun it's like a treasure hunt while you're exercising perfect for earth day i love that and then any other nights besides tuesday that you uh, come out here or tuesday nights Friday morning, so then if you're working, you know, and we go, we'll change it up in the summer, but you can look it up on desert plogging or desert paddle boards because we do river events also. So today, Natural Restorations has an event at the river, and then Clean Up Papago has an event at Papago Park where they're doing trash cleanups also. Okay, and did you guys ever start with the running, uh, kind of how they do it in Sweden here, or were you guys automatically like, nope, we're going to get on rollerblades. We want to hit more, more miles here. Oh, definitely. About three years ago, we started plogging by jogging and hiking, and then we did it on paddle boards because the river is dirty and now we've just switched to rollerblades because it's a great way to exercise especially over 40 because running is kind of hard on your body and also too mentioning that there's uh, adults a couple teenagers we have out here a few kiddos your dad is even out yep. here uh, with us this morning so this is pretty much for anybody yeah the funny thing is is we're better than our kids because in the 90s that's what everybody did and so our teenagers have never rollerbladed and then I see people with buckets. They have the trash picker uppers yeah. or whatever uh, those things are called there. It makes it more fun because then you don't have to bend over as much, you know. Yes. And then so do you guys have like, stations along the way where you guys dump the trash or? There is actually a ton of trash cans along the way. I don't know why more trash doesn't make it in the trash cans, but we do have, there's a lot. So we just dump it, get some more, you know, keep going the whole time. And what better day to do this than Earth Day? That's right. Yes, we love it. And uh, anybody who wants more information, where do we find you? How can we get involved? How can we put on uh, some skates, lace up and, and hit the roads with you. You can get on desert paddle boards. If you get on desert plogging, it'll just link you to desert paddle boards and we have a bunch of fun events there. Okay. And you guys, miles. 15 you guys miles we do. We do 15 miles. You can go all the way to central Phoenix though if you want. Oh my goodness. And there's no cars. That's a great part because rollerblading is a little scary with cars and there's no cars on this bike path. I love this. Sarah, you're amazing. Your group is amazing. Look at her dad over here. There he is. Hey dad. Woohoo. Look at that bag Ooh, full wow. of trash. Hey, dad. Yeah, doing it at any age. 69 years old. There he <laughs> is. What's his name? Daryl. Hey, Daryl. He doesn't look what a 69. guy. Look at him cruising around. Is that the key to you? Okay, Danielle, let's yes. do this. Um,